It's the Too Dumb to Quit podcast with Jeremy McCall. He's dumb, way too dumb to even quit. So, you know, he has his own podcast now. Hey, gang, welcome back, and thanks for hanging with me on this four-part series of The Four Agreements. I hope it's inspired something in you the way that it did with me, and I hope all of these podcasts continue to bring you something to walk away with, whether it's a philosophy insight, a badass guest, something to laugh at, something super inappropriate that I said. (laughs) I just love the connection of it. Thank you so much for the comments, for subscribing, for sharing it with your friends, And if you're enjoying it, please continue to do so. Over the past four days, we've discussed uh, the first three agreements of being impeccable with your word, not taking anything personally, and removing assumptions. And today, the fourth and final agreement in this series is always do your best. When you're ready to change your life, when you're tired of the past agreements that you've held with yourself, the most important thing we can have is awareness because we can't change what we like and what we don't like if we aren't even aware of what it is we want to change. And even more than just being aware of the change is the practice of changing it, being present every day and accountable to yourself. And with that practice comes true change. Don Miguel Ruiz, who wrote the book, The Four Agreements, says in the book, practice is the master. And this just comes from all of us learning through repetition, continuous repetition and practice. It reminds me of that uh, that old Nike commercial with Tiger Woods and uh, Rory McIlroy. Uh, it was from a few years back, but it showed Rory as a young child watching these incredible successes on television of Tiger Woods. It would show Tiger in the rain, and then it would cut to a young Rory practicing as sheets of water were coming down on him. The whole commercial shows just a driven young man like looking up to his hero for inspiration as a watermark while just relentlessly pursuing the goal of being better. And the commercial ends with kind of a goosebump inducing uh, Rory teeing off on this beautiful shot and this picturesque golf course. Tiger walks into the, the view and just says, nice shot, and they walk off together. The thing I love about that commercial is that it's the result of relentless practice of being better just relentlessly going after what we want. And that's the thought process we all need with ourselves. Our whole lives, are we've practiced to be who we are right now until the habits that we have have just become automatic. Some good, some not so good. And as we start practicing something new, when we change what and who we believe we are, your whole life changes. It's like the old saying of whether you think you can or you think you can't, either way, you're right. And I've found we have to learn to get out of our own way. We have to allow ourselves to change who and how we see ourselves. And while the first agreements in this may seem difficult or impossible to imagine ourselves becoming good at, this agreement is the one that makes it all possible. I I remember my first time going through the four agreements. It just seems like I would never be able to do that. I would never be able to get rid of all the assumptions that I make, or I would never be able to do this. And this is the agreement that makes the other three impossible, totally possible for everybody. Always do your best. No more and no less. Just our best, the best that we have to take action. It's the agreement that all of us can do without excuses. And the other important part of this is to realize that each of our best is going to change from day to day. Some days you're sick, your best is going to be 40%. Other days it'll be 80%. Some days it'll be 10%. But regardless, as long as we give 100% of what we have available in the tank at that moment, that's all we can do. So if you're sick, you're beat up, you're down, and your 40% is all you can give it, but you give it everything you have, it's enough. And sometimes allowing yourself to step back and say, I did all I could do, and that is enough. It's it's life changing. I've implemented this um, in my life, especially as a dad. My son and I uh, are both involved in jujitsu. I love it. I love martial arts. I love watching it. I love practicing it, and I love seeing the changes that it has made in both of us. Uh, for me, being you know a thirty nine year old man and, and a six year old uh, son, and the thing that I I've learned while watching him roll and learn in his classes has been after his class when he walks off the mat, I always just ask one question, and the question is, did you do your best? And if his answer is yes, I give him a huge hug. I say, I'm super proud of you, kid. And I end it every week just by saying, I just love watching you do jujitsu. I just love watching you do it. In the beginning, when we first started going, I was tempted to talk about it in the car 
on the way home. I was talking, I was tempted to say, man, when, when this kid does this, you gotta do that, you gotta do this, and your coach was showing you this. And, and then I realized, what, what good does that do? And, and I heard some advice early on from one of the coaches um, at the uh, jujitsu gym that I go to, and I'm so happy that I took this to heart. And I think that it's something we can ask ourselves in every situation, at the conclusion of the day, every day, or at the conclusion of a project, or a goal, or something that you're undertaking. Did I do my best? Did I give it everything I had? And if the answer is yes, Yes, then we have to allow ourselves to be proud of ourselves, to tell ourselves, I'm proud of myself for the practice and the effort. I tell myself, I love watching the changes in my life based on this. I'm proud of myself for doing that, for accomplishing that. I'm proud of myself for getting out of bed even though I felt like shit and going in and getting the job done the best I could. I talk to myself to just bring myself to the very moment, to be as present as I can in that moment with gratitude. Even on the days when we don't feel good, when we're injured, we still can give the best we can. And how can we not be grateful for that opportunity? So to be able to take that advice, I was so thankful uh, that I took it in that I that for the coach who said it to me, to be able to stand back and just go, I love watching you do what you do when you try your hardest. This agreement allows the first three agreements to become deeply ingrained habits with repetition and practice, and it will allow us each to master this for ourselves. Keeping in mind, much like trying to get biceps from doing push-ups, you can't expect to master all of this overnight or over a week or over a month. This is a habit change. This is a lifelong practice practice of mastering ourselves for the better. All of the bad habits, think about where we're at right now. All of the things in our life have been there for so long. It's the reason why it just becomes automatic. It's the reason our temper flares when somebody hits one of our trigger buttons. So the thing is, is to start realizing that. And you'll be amazed at the little things you'll start to notice about how you feel, about situations, and about yourself once we start realizing that this is a habit change and a lifelong practice of us being able to find little nooks and crannies to better ourselves. So you can't expect all of these agreements become something you do 100% of the time. All of us are going to take something personally. All of us are going to make assumptions. They're just so deeply ingrained and rooted in each of us uh, to be able to just totally remove it. But it's about recognizing it, doing our best to practice these agreements when we do recognize it and the other philosophies that we enjoy in our life and to keep us centered and present and happy. And if you fail today, you fail today. You start again tomorrow. It's okay hey, that's the other thing. I, I, I don't understand the negative connotation with failure. When you fail, you learn, unless the ego's in the way. If we remove the ego, if we fail, we learn. Hey, you know what? Had a really tough time today. I'm going to get up. I'm going to do it again tomorrow. I'm going to start again tomorrow. Just like the young Rory out there in the rain practicing to become like Tiger. Each day, it gets a little better. It gets a little easier. And not easier in the sense of the task gets easier because as you progress, I think sometimes it gets harder because the tasks become more difficult. Sometimes you go from the top rung of of one ladder to the bottom rung of another and you have to realize you've made a huge jump to a different ladder and that you just have to continue uh, to do your best. Each day gets a little better. Making sure we don't use our voice against ourselves. Other people don't like you. There's a quick mantra. I think Mother Teresa said it. She said, um, fuck them. (laughs) <laughs> okay i think i'm getting that wrong uh, it wasn't mother Teresa. it might have been joe exotic or uh maybe that bitch uh, carol baskins <laughs> but it was probably me hell i don't know what i do know uh to get back on track is that the moment you decide to make these agreements into habits into your own life you are going to feel a huge change a weight lifted and you'll be able to live a drama free less stress happier life with a better version of yourself to give to everyone that you love. And that's been my favorite experience about the growth of this is giving the best version of ourselves to our kids and our spouses and our passions and the people that we enjoy being around. If we just keep it up, if we just keep growing and keep making small changes in our minds, we continue to make big changes in our life. So that is going to wrap up our four-part series. Thank you so much for being part of this, of the uh, four agreements based on the book by the same name, by Don Miguel Ruiz. You should go buy it. You should read it, grab a highlighter, highlight the shit out of what connects with you. And uh, another book I would highly, highly recommend if you enjoyed this is a book called Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. And um, they do all kinds of uh, stoic stuff over at Daily Stoic. Go get the books. And if you're enjoying the Too Dumb to Quit podcast, share it with your friends and help me spread the good word. Hope you guys have a great weekend. And again, thank you so much. I'll be back on Tuesday with a new episode of the Too Dumb to Quit podcast. Until then, enjoy your day and I'll talk to y'all real soon. <laughs>